It was pretty much like every other working morning. So get up, get ready, take Daisy to my mum's. Got into school and I was leading the Hall of Fame assembly. The children started to talk to each other. So I knelt down to speak to one of the children. I could feel my heart racing. I just felt like I was a little bit nervous. It kind of continued and then everything kind of went quiet. So I stood up to leave the room and that's kind of like the last thing I remember. When I saw Joni lying on the floor, um, I just, at first, I initially thought she were like having a seizure. The way it was presenting, like her body was shaking. Um, and I came to the hall and knelt down on the floor at the side of her. And straight away, I just realised that we need to do CPR. And so I just straight away remembered my training that I'd had. When I started doing chest compressions on Jolie, um, I was just like running through my mind, like just thinking of Daisy and thinking, you know, Daisy's going to get her mum back today. And I was like, she's not growing up without a mum, I've got to keep going to get her back. On the way to the hospital, I was told that I'd had a sudden cardiac arrest. Um, when we got into the hospital, I kind of, I was a little bit, felt like I was in a little bit of a dream, didn't really understand why it had happened, quite fit, healthy, young, um, just was really sh shook by it, I suppose. I think the BHF have done some incredible things for CPR. Their online training that you can do doesn't take very long. Thank God that I'd done my training because I knew what to do because it was so fresh in my head. I think the importance of CPR is just, is, is huge. Obviously, I was really emotional. And it's thanks to Louise that I was kept to see Daisy grow up. <laughs>